Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a mechanical mod and this is the Challenger Mark II from Micro Engineering. It's a gorgeous little mod. Um, basically I've got the 18350 version in stainless steel here with an RSM rocket on the top. It's made of 316 grade stainless steel um, and it has probably one of the most divine buttons, the divine switches that you could possibly have. The switch was basically developed by Andreas from Satburn and it's very similar, well, nearly identical to the switch that you will find on the Satmod Mini or the Satmod and it's just basically that plunger button that sits inside so there's no need for a locking ring because you can stand it up and it will not fire. Um, it has magnets in it um, and it really is the softest of touch. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Now, there are various different styles of the uh, Challenger Mark II you can get. Um, this is the all stainless steel version with a stainless steel shine top cap, uh, stainless steel shined bottom cap and a brushed tube. And this is the 18350. You can also get this in 18500 and you can also get it in aluminium bronze as well. And that's, you know, or you can mix and match. You could have your aluminium bronze top cap, aluminium bronze bottom cap and your brush tube, your stainless steel brush tube, or the other way round, you can have your mirror polished um, top cap, your uh, mirror polished bottom cap, and your aluminium bronze tube. You can also get it in 18500, and you can choose what style your plunger button at the bottom is. At the bottom of my one, I have the uh, aluminium bronze plunger button, or you can also get it in stainless steel. So a lot of options there to have. Um, but before I get mainly into price and what I think about the mod, Let's go down to the table and have a look at it up close, uh, show you the top cap, show you the switch and uh, come back and give you my final thoughts and a bloody good vaping. Save. So here you have your Challenger Mark II from Micro Engineering. This is the 18350 full stainless steel edition. Basically your 18350 tube will come in this really nice fine brush finish. Your top cap which is a flat top cap, has this sort of mirror shine finish. Your bottom cap has a mirror shine finish. And I've opted for the aluminium bronze plunger button, but you can also opt for the stainless steel if you want the full stainless setup. You do get these six groove lines in the tube, and which I think when pairing with an RSM rocket really complements each other very, very well. First of all, let's have a look at the top cap. The top cap has those twin telescopic brass connections, like so. They're quite large as well for anybody with sort of clumsy or fat fingers to adjust, one to your atty and one to your battery. The threads are 20 over 1 threading. And it's a flat top cap as well, so you will need an atomizer that provides its own airflow, otherwise you won't be able to get a draw out of it. Let's take a look at the bottom cap now and the button. The bottom cap itself is really sort of large. The threading's really nice. Once again, it's 20 over 1 threading. You have a brass connection piece at the bottom and that hole for your venting, basically. The venting comes through the switch. So you have these holes on either side of your plunger button and when pressed, opens up to provide venting in case you're unfortunate enough to get a battery that may vent. Removing this plunger button is pretty simple. You unscrew the brass connection. Like so. And then remove your button. You have two magnets opposing each other. One inside there and one at the end of your plunger button like so. And that gives it its really nice sort of pull as well so it has an incredibly nice feel to it and an incredibly light touch as well which is something that's fantastic the button on this is absolutely beautiful and a really nice push 
just screw these back together again now. And the threads are incredibly smooth. Just put a battery in here like so. Attach my atomizer. I'm going to want to make connection with my first pin. And then connect my second one to my battery. Like so. Just using an AW IMR. There we have it there. Looks really nice with the RSM rocket on the top. Now you can also get a 16mm chamfered top cap and a 20mm chamfered top cap as well. I have here the 16mm. But I was kind of a bit... It's not very... It's not... The angle on it isn't huge as well. So even though it is chamfered and it's meant to suit 16mm atomizers, I do have my narwhal here, I still find it looks not too dissimilar from the flat top cap itself. So even though it does give it a slighter, better look with your 16mm atomizers, I still feel it could have been a little bit better to really complement that atomizer. Let me just zoom out a bit for you, so you can get a better look at it, like so. And you can also get one that's 20mm as well, in case you have a Hellfire or something of 20mm. I just feel it could have been a slightly more angled top cap to give it a more definite look. But in a 22mm, with the rocket, I think it looks absolutely outstanding. So there you saw the Challenger Mark II up close, and as you can see, it's a fantastically engineered mechanical mod. Um, lovely in 18350, and like I said, they do do an 18500 as well. Um, but the switch on this, the switch on this is absolutely fucking fantastic. You know, it is designed basically with permission as well, and in conjunction with Satburn, Andreas from Satburn. So it is that Satburn switch, you know, like you would find on a Satmod Mini or a Satmod. Um, you know, it's 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 absolutely sublime. It also is 20 over 1 threading um, on the top and the bottom cap as well. And that is basically the main difference between the Mark II and the Mark I. The Mark I, when it was first released, didn't, and some of them didn't have true 20 over 1 um, threading. There had been a slight miscalculation and uh, it wasn't through 20 over 1 threading so micro engineering have gone back and uh, corrected that error and have now made it true 20 over 1 threading so you know I, but I also as well have tried to hybrid this up with a 20 over 1 hybrid adapter that I have but due to the fact of the large amount of threads that you get in this tube it doesn't make connection when using a hybrid connector or not the ones that I've got and yet micro engineering haven't brought out their own hybrid um, connector it's not a huge problem because obviously it's a very small lovely dinky mod in 18350 anyway and the top cap with that mirrored shine really does complement it um, exceedingly well but still it would be nice to have that option there are a lot of threads on the top of this tube and so when using a hybrid converter it doesn't reach um, it has those twin telescopic connection posts at the top, and they're made from brass. Um, and they're, they're, you know, you have one for your atomizer, one for your battery. The one for your battery is very long, obviously, to catch up with that threading at the top. You know, um, the switch has those magnets in it, and it's that very minimal light touch as well. It's such a beautiful touch. I mean, you can just basically touch it with the side of your finger there, just that that top knuckle on your pinky. Just give it the ever so slight touch and it will fire really nice and feels absolutely great. It is probably the nicest thing about this mod. The switch is absolutely sublime. These do also um, have the option of coming with chamfered top caps as well and I purchased, as you saw in the close-up, the 16mm chamfered top cap. 
I'm not a fan of the 16mm chamfer top cap for this. It still looks like, um, say my narwhal is on a flat top cap there. It's it, the, the angle, the degree of the angle going up to the 16mm is very slight. So it doesn't really complement it too much. And um, for £30, I was, I was pretty gutted about that. You know, comparing it to the, sort of like the 16mm chamfer top cap for the MCR, it, it's very still flat. It doesn't really doesn't really do much for me um, like I said my 16 mils still look like they're on a flat top cap now where to get these uh, basically it's that usual you can get them on a list on vape pit or which I I got myself you can get it from a um, Google Doc on their Facebook group micro engineering Facebook group which I thought was great so they were also offered out on Facebook as well and you can go on there fill on the fill the list if you want and um, you'll get an invoice and then you have to pay that invoice within three days so um, I will put a link to the Facebook group in the description the um, last I checked the Google Doc is still up so you can still purchase one if you want I've just grab myself another one for my wife because I think they're absolutely stunning um, and yeah you can go on there and order one now for the mod itself and that's just with a, your 22 mil standard mod either in 18350 or 18500 top cap tube bottom cap and your plunger button is £90 and uh, I don't think that's a, a terrible price at all it's actually a really nice price for a mod of this calibre and you can also choose exactly which one you want as well now that could be the 18350 full stainless steel um, for £90 or you can choose basically the 18500 full stainless steel for £19 and you for ninety pound, and you can also choose the aluminium bronze options as well. Once again, eighteen three fifty or eighteen five hundred ninety pounds, um, and you can mix and match as well. You could have the SS tube and aluminium bronze top cap, bottom cap, and even have uh, choose your plunger button as well, be it aluminium bronze or stainless steel. You have all those options uh, for ninety pounds, so it doesn't go up because you've got the eighteen five hundred. Um, so that's really good. You can also buy the chamfer top caps as well. They're thirty pounds extra on top and that's either a 16 mil or a 20 mil uh, but like I said I wasn't a, I'm not a big fan of the uh, 16 mil chamfer top cap that comes with the Challenger Mark II I don't think it has a nice enough angle to complement your 16 mil um, atomizers but that's just my opinion and that's just what I like some people out there might think it's it's bloody lovely they prefer it that way but for me I prefer that more 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 angle going up to sort of hit your 16 mils to uh, make it look even more seemingly flush. Um, hits fantastically. Uh, it, it, it's a stunning mod. UK made as well, so a little bit biased. Really do love uh, more and more of this sort of UK stuff coming out. It's very nice stuff as well, you know. And but once again, I cannot get over how nice this button is. This plunger button is absolutely sublime. It really is the very minimal of touch, um, and you know you can don't need a locking ring on it because it does sit inside the um, bottom cap like so, um, and it is really nice. You do have venting through the switch as well, just like you would get on the Sat Mod Mini, being a Sat Burn switch. So um, your venting does go through the switch. So it is very, very nice indeed. Like I said, I've put the Facebook group for Micro Engineering into the description. Go on there, check it out. Hopefully the um, Google Doc is still available and you can grab yourselves one of these. I would highly recommend them. Uh, looks absolutely fantastic with the rocket on the top, you know, uh, and pretty much will suit any 22mm atomizer that you've got, um, especially if it has a brush finish itself. So yeah, that's the uh, Challenger Mark II, you know, a fantastic, beautiful um, little mechanical mod with one of the nicest switches um, out there on the market. It is in incredibly light to touch. It is very nice. So yeah, I'm going to take another vape. Yeah, I really dig that switch. It's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.